So at this point, I'm going to show you just briefly a couple things as far as the conditional formatting that is available in Excel 2013. So let's say you have a data very similar to this, and you want to format this data and also analyze it to some extent. So what you can do is you can highlight it, and then you go here under conditional formatting. Actually, before I go to conditional formatting, just like you remember, from using styles, you can also format this using specific different other types of predefined styles of tables. And you can even customize it further here. Notice on the design, we have further options that you can tinker with. Okay, so uh, let's say we have this. Now at this point, let's say, uh, like I was mentioning earlier, we want to analyze this data and kind of make it more visual. So what you can do is, and notice we are in the Home tab, and you can go here under Conditional Formatting. So basically, Conditional Formatting, it, as it shows here in the explanation, it easily allows you to spot trends and patterns in your data using bars, colors, icons, and other visually important components to highlight specific data. So you click here on the Conditional Formatting, and then you can analyze or change things so that, for example, you want data bars. The higher values will have the higher bar here appropriately. So that's one way to use to represent this data, the different values. So if the value is lower, notice the whole thing will change again. And by the way, let's undo the previous formatting that we had applied to it and go back and utilize a different type of formatting. And you can define different rules here as well. So you can just go and check the rules here. So if it's a specific value, a specific value falls between a certain range and so on, format it a certain way and display it in a different color and that type of thing. The other one is you can use icons. and a variety of different ways. You can also use the top 10% to highlight the top 10, the bottom 10, above average, below average, and so on, on a whole bunch of values. If you right-click on the data that we selected, if you use here the quick analysis, and this is new in 2013, it will give you a live preview of how this data will look if you chose that specific components. It's a little bit more useful this way by right-clicking on it. You can also pick different types of charts to represent it, the totals, what they'll look like, and make it sparkly with different types of visual data representation, that type of thing. That's conditional formatting and some of the analysis tools that you can utilize in Excel. Hopefully you find it helpful and next we're going to move into data sorting and filtering. Music